Welcome to Project Homestead. Don't want to get her hair on my shirt. <laughs> Wash my hands. Today we're going to be doing fermented carrots. It's a recipe that my children really, really love. It's kind of like dill pickles, but they're crunchy and they're carroty and they're yum. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get to it. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't have a dishwasher. I really, really wish I had a dishwasher, but until I get a dishwasher, I have to be the dishwasher. So what I did is I went and I filled up my, my wand and then I went and changed the sponge to that wand so that it was a brand new sponge. Because I, I don't have a dishwasher, I wanna make sure that everything that is coming in contact with this jar is really clean because we don't want any sort of bacteria overgrowth of in the negative we want bacteria overgrowth but we want the good bacteria and then i washed it out in the hottest water i possibly could stand putting my hands in and then i washed it, the jar again with some soap and again under the hottest water as you can see i just dropped it there because it is really hot and i wanted to just make sure this jar was super super clean all right, so I got these carrots for two bucks at the spud shed. They're second, so they're kind of like broken and they're, they've are they got cracks in them or whatever, but like that is fine by me. I just peeled them right up and it works really, really fine for this recipe. So no complaints here, two bucks for these, yes please. So I went ahead and I peeled them and um, decided that I was gonna keep the scraps. I was gonna throw them out, but I, I really wish I had chickens. I'm actually thinking about getting quails, you guys. Like, do you think I should get quails? I think I might be able to get away with having them here at the resort because they're not loud and they're low maintenance. Anyways, since I can't give my peels to the carrots, sorry, <laughs> my peels to the chickens, I'm going to be burying them out in the garden later and I'll bring you along with me. I washed up the carrots and then I chopped them in a pretty big size. We like them about that size. Um, you could do them smaller, you could do them in a different shape. Whatever floats your boat, honey, that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so after you've done your carrots, you're gonna get your clean jar and your clean utensils, whatever you're using, make sure they're very clean and sterile. And then for this size of a jar, I used four tablespoons of salt. That may sound extreme, but it's actually one tablespoon per, per cup of water for the, what the online says, what online says sorry what google says and then at, once you get the salt to water ratio it's pretty much up to you what you use i used peppercorns and dill it's a very basic recipe i also have used um, mustard seeds in this before and i've used chili flakes in this before it's really up to you what you want to flavor how you want to flavor it as long as you get the water to salt ratio correctly now you want to make sure that you're packing your jar as tight as you possibly can because this is going to prevent floating to the top and you don't want your carrots to float to the top you don't want them to uh, be exposed to any oxygen because that can introduce bad bacteria into your ferment and you do not want that so just make sure that you are packing your jar as tightly as you possibly can and then you can fill it up with water and you can put a weight on top of it to keep it down if you need but sometimes you don't even need a weight so i am filling up my uh, jar now with filtered water make sure it's filtered water and not tap water you don't want to use tap water because it's got chlorine and that can also cause problems for your ferment and here i'm putting this weight in but i actually didn't even need this weight because these carrots work packed in there baby that's the lid that came with the pickle jar that's fine to use as long as you're going to burp your ferment every single day that's fine so i just went ahead and i washed it clean 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 you gotta make sure everything's clean and then i put it on the top and then don't forget to shake up that salt at the bottom because it's just going to sit there and so make sure it's all shook up and it's doing real good and then you're going to put it aside in a covered area kind of like the dark area is fine just somewhere cool and then because i'm practicing ways to try and use all of my scrap my kitchen scraps etc i thought i'm just going to take these scraps out to the garden and i'm going to bury them like straight in the garden <laughs> straight in the garden uh i don't want to have a composter because i worry about the smell i don't because I live on a resort, I don't want, you know, to make any sort of like trash kind of smell. I don't really know if compost smells. Does anyone know about that? You can let me know in the comments below. But what I did is I kind of just took a leaf out of my father-in-law's book because he does this all the time. He just takes his kitchen scraps and takes them straight out to the garden and just buries them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to put give back to the dirt, give back to the soil. And so this was my way of doing that. So I just went and dug it very shallowly and then 
put the handful of carrots in and then covered it over the top and yeah if i had chickens again i would give these to the chickens but i don't so in the garden they go do you see what i see looks like maybe there's something starting right here can you see that something forming right there is that a tomato all right, it's the next morning. I just finished my morning walk and I came in to burp it, which is letting out all the gases that build up. You do not want a ferment fermentation explosion. So you can see all the bubbling and all the goodness starting to happen. That's exactly what we want. But I realized that I had forgotten when I was looking at the jar, I had forgotten to put a bay leaf in there. A bay leaf keeps the ferment nice and crunchy and I am not about a soggy ferment. I like that crisp, crunchy, uh, texture and I I like that sour bite that you get from the ferment. I think it's such a nice combination. So I went ahead and I took the bay leaf and I chucked it in there and then I put the lid back on and I put it aside so that it can sit for another day or two. I will be back again in, the, in another day or two. It does not take long to do this ferment so I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. All right, let's check our, our carrots today. Let me just move some of these dirty dishes out of the way. Because we didn't do our dishes last night. We went out and celebrated my son's eighth birthday. And so, you know what? I just left it. I left it. Oh. You guys, can you see the bubbles? Oh, I love that. The bubbles. Let's just see if we can see them better on the side there. You really want that. It looks like we've got quite a good fermentation going because the bubbles are very, very active. You see right there? I say we taste one today. It's only been, this is day three. It smells so good, like the dill is so strong. Hey, Mish, come over here and try one of these dill pickle carrots. It's still got such a good fermentation. It's just so beautiful. I'll take the weight out. Hey, Mish, come over and try this. Actually, let's try one ourselves first. Let's try one ourselves. Mm. It actually doesn't have that bite yet. There's no bite. It's salty. I can slightly taste the dill in it. Um, there's no bite though. It's supposed to have like a nice little bite so I think we'll actually wait on that we'll wait Hamish we'll do it another day it's not quite ready back in the weight goes put the lid back on stick it out there we'll come back another day carrots I'm just going to go ahead and burp them oh my gosh I'm getting the dill let's smell the dill right through it so let's just listen and see if we can hear I wish there was more bubbling that then you know I don't see much bubbling going on. I'm not in love with that. Oh there we go. Oh I can hear the fizzing now. Oh yeah. I think so oh whoa. Yep. Definitely. There's some trapped gases down there. It smells very fizzy. Let's just take this carrot here on the top. Hey, Mish, you want to come try this carrot? This will be fermented carrot. This will be day five. Is it good? Mmm. Do you like it? Yeah. It's really good. I can definitely taste the dill in there. I can definitely taste the dill. You want it? I have to eat it in my camera. You're eating it for YouTube. What do you think? Tell YouTube what you think about it. Does it resemble a dill pickle kind of, but it's a carrot? Is it good? It tastes like a pickle carrot. It tastes like a pickle carrot, doesn't it? Want one more? Yeah. They're so good for your tummy. They're like gonna give you all kinds of good gut bacteria in there. It's just really great for you. you. Whenever you see bacteria, it makes me feel weird. Yeah, there is bad bacteria. Mm, this 
really good. I've got two children here who are very eager in trying our fermented carrots out today. It's been a week now. Oh, smell it. Oh. The fermentation went in my nose. Oh. Like. I'm gonna get each of you out one. Okay. I want the bigger one. Come here, Macy. Give your opinions. Honest. I'm sure they good. Mm. Have some more. It's really pickly. Yeah. I think those can go in the refrigerator. I can have some more, but this time like bigger, like the ones inside. Mm. There's a big one. Oh yeah. A big one? Mm-hmm. You guys love these. Every time I make these, my kids love them, huh? Mm-hmm. So good. And it's just an easy snack. And now I can stick these in the refrigerator and whenever my kids want, they'll just pop it out of the refrigerator and they'll eat some. These will be gone. I'm not even kidding in like a day or two. And it's got such a good crunch. Mm. It's so good. You've got to try it. It kind of tastes peppery a little bit. I'll put some pepper in there. Have some more. <laughs> yeah, just let me finish the video. Thank you guys so much for joining this video. You must try this. If you like dill pickles and you want like a really quick ferment, it's only took it only took a week to ferment and it is so yummy and it's just fresh and it makes your gut feel happy. And it's also good for your kids because they'll devour it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.